Travella, ringside with the former Australian Cruiserweight Champion, Mark the Hammer Cassidy. And we are joined once again by the super promoter, Tarek Solak, as Jason Psycho Sonny struts his way to the ring hammer for the final of the K1 World Grand Prix Melbourne 2003 from the Melbourne Town Hall. And doesn't he look happy as he goes up against the big chief? Well, I'll tell you what, Michael, what a night it's been. It's been an absolute night charged with emotion and all sorts of surprises and just some great all-round fighting. And that's uh, just money's worth tonight. That's got to be an understatement. And this man, Jason Sutty, as we said in the opener, one of the uh, most underrated fighters, but also one of the uh, fighters with the biggest heart in the K1 Circuit Oceana region. Jason Sutty is here, and he's here for business. He's been around a long time, and he's going to leave his impression here tonight. That's for sure against Peter Graham. He'll be out in a one very short moment. ACDC Thunderstruck, the man with the technique bonus, rolling thunder, the big chief, Peter Graham. Doesn't he look pumped up here tonight, Tarak Solak, Peter Graham and Jason Sonny. They both look great, and I was just going to make a comment before about Jason, what a showman he is, the way he walks into the ring. This is what the public wants, this is what the promoter wants, and on top of that, when they come back up with a great fight, you can't ask for any more than this. Take nothing away from Peter, he's also a showman, and he's also a great fighter. It is the time for the final. Let's go across to Stacey McMahon and the King Billy Fisher. This is the final fight. Three three-minute rounds under K1 rules. In the blue corner... You gotta be tough, you gotta be brutal, and maybe just a little psycho to reach the final. And that's what he's done tonight. You've seen him perform. You saw him take on Tsuwashi in three gruelling rounds. Got a little easy against Andrew Peck. You don't become a five-time world champion without showing you've got some stuff in the ring. Let's hear it. He's made the final. Here's Jason Sonny. They don't come any tougher. He proved that in his last bout, didn't he? Had to go to a fourth round. Earlier on, he took on Jacob Brodjevic and did that one in a tough one as well. He's earned his stripes tonight. He's earned his place in this final. And let's hear it for him from Sydney, Peter the Chief Graham. It's the final that a lot of people predicted and a lot of people want to see. It's Australia versus New Zealand. Let's yeah, listen to the third man, Dave Hitchcock. 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 H
and Mark Hunt has won those millions of dollars. Exactly. He certainly has. He's got himself a nice new Monaro here. And you know what? <laughs> the thing is, fellas, that we're going to see three Oceania representatives in Osaka. Mark Hunt, Ray Seffel, and the winner of this fight. We will be the most represented region in the K1, Jerry. Right. So the the we must be doing a good job in this area. Right. We're doing a very this good part job. Of the world. We're doing a great job. Well, best shows the outside of Japan. You're seeing it here tonight. Brought to you by Tarek Solak and a gripping final so far. The defences of both of these boys thus far has been very nice indeed. Peter Graham parrying all the shots from uh, from Sadi. Sadi. Right. Sadi negating the kicks of Graham. It's been poetry from both these gents in centre ring at the moment. Nice front kick there off the lead thigh from Graham. Two minutes, ten down, 50 seconds remaining. Good use of his reach again by Graham off that lead leg, just pecking off Jason Sutty. I'm just thinking how lucky my sponsors are tonight because they're going live to Japan and Croatia and a couple other countries. Japan, Croatia, we're on delay throughout right, right, New Zealand right, as right, well, right, Turkey right, and Greece. And we're right. starting our weekly programs in Greece very soon. Every week we will have a one-hour program there. It is all happening in K1 right, and for Tarek Solak. Go check it out on solak.com.au. Right. And a gripping final fight so far. 15 minutes, seconds remaining. Both men showing a lot of respect. Oh, nice right, right hand, hand to the Peter Graham. Peter Graham. I tell you what, there was a bit of an exchange in the neutral corner prior to that. And they're starting to wind it up. Very, very tight and close round, that one. If I have to lean either way, I'll call it a draw. If I have to lean either way, I'll go the way of the red corner, Peter Graham. Especially after he landed that big right hand at the end there. The last impression is probably what's going to stay in the judge's mind. But nothing in it as we're one round down. Tarek? Well, I, lo I love both guys equally. They're both friends of mine, so I'm going to call it a draw because I love both of them. OK. We've got to try and judge it impartially. Uh, Chris Christopoulides, the question is, does he get a passage to Japan after the draw? But we'll leave that question for alone for now. Looking at the final, though, it's all there for the taking. And both boys are very focused indeed. They're picking their shots. We see on screen uh, Peter Graham now getting last-minute instructions from Alex Tui. Okay, round two of three, our final. The Hammer giving it unofficially to Big Chief Peter Graham in the first round. And both men going to step up the momentum here in the second. They touch gloves and we're underway. Australia versus New Zealand. Suddy, the psycho, Jason Suddy from New Zealand. Blue corner, Peter Graham, the chief from the red corner. Round kick there from Sonny, caught it on the forearms, Dick Graham. They have the biggest chunk of Vaseline on the right cheek of Jason Sonny there, Hammer. The glove will slip right off. They're not shy in using the, uh, His cheek the will Vaseline slip off. either corner. Front kick from Graham. I hope you can see the big Vaseline on uh, Peter Graham's head on the left-hand <laughs> side. Seriously, look at it. <laughs> his head will roll off his shoulders, they put any more on him. Oh, big power punches by both fellas. Sweat flying off the brow like a couple of trucks on the highway colliding. This is a fiery fight. They cannot make a mistake. Neither man wants to give an inch. Let's count the techniques again. Stop, stop. Graham landing a nice low leg kick there on Suddy. Suddy coming back with some tidy hand play. Body right, shot by Sonny. Sonny. Graham ties him up, works the knee under the Hold left arm. Uh, Don't forget, these guys are going to try their best here for a couple of reasons. Number one, they get a chance to go to the final 14. Number two, the winner gets a bonus of $26,000 after the third round. Oh, there you go. Right. Don't hold the leg again. The monetary incentive Hold as well as the incentive of going to Japan. And number three, he's got a chance to make a million bucks by the end of the year. Number four, he gets to go to Tarek Solak's after party. <laughs> well, that's the best one out of all of them. They're missing all the fun. <laughs> Jason Suddy just being forced back by the hands of Peter Graham. Suddy's got to control the centre of the ring. Big Chief right on top of that crazy Chong's logo at the moment. Nice, nice uh, kicking techniques there from Peter Graham. Right, stop, stop, Body stop, shot go. from Sunny then ties back. him up. Hold on. It has been a technical contest, a power packed one. Short right hand right, over the top right, there right, from right, right, Sunny right, caught Peter right, Graham. Stop. And Graham right tied him up and some swelling over the right eye of Graham. A large mouse developing on the corner of the right eye of Graham. Body right, shot from right. Sunny. Stop. 
Jumping. Got the knee from Graham. Oh. Into the final stages of the second round. Inside thigh kick from Graham. Didn't quite connect. Goes upstairs. Caught the forearms of Sutty. Nice straight right hand through the guard from Graham. Take again, I'll take the point off. Hey. Warning there from Dave Hitchcock. Hammer. Dave Hitchcock laid down the law in centre ring. Grandpa doesn't joke, does he? Because <laughs> he's gone from uncle to grandpa all he wants around. That's very harsh. I've always called him grandpa. <laughs> Rick, stop, stop, stop. Step back. I actually uh, say, go grandpa. I'm going to start calling him young, young Dave Hitchcock. Big left hand there from Sadie and again trying to fire at the uppercut. Big beat raging across the ring. High knee from Rick, Graham stop. all tied step up back, in the red back. corner. And there's the end of the there second round. We got the towels hammer, a hard one to call. Well, that one I think again. Peter Graham on the outside, landing the cleaner shots, working some nice tactics. Peter Graham, I'm going to lock that second round away for him as well. But uh, nothing in it. Jason Suddy working well on the inside, but Graham doing well on the outside. Tarek, you have the collection of the most beautiful dancing girls I've seen so far here tonight. I think there's more good-looking girls in this venue right now anywhere in Australia in one room. It's true, it that's really is. That's one thing that's special about our promotions. We get a lot of good-looking ladies attending our ringside, and I get a lot of comments about that. Tarek, where do they come from? Well, they fly from all around the country. <laughs> that's good. I'm not the best-looking one next to me, but, you know, that's just how it goes, guys. Don't be disappointed. Never mind. But uh, in centre ring at the moment, we're seeing Sadi getting primed for the next uh, rapid charge round. We actually went a step ahead and we said, we're not just going to have good-looking girls in the venue, we're going to put her right in our ring and we're going to start using an MC as a good-looking girl. Stacey McMahon here tonight. And here we go, both men touch gloves, third and final round there, three minutes away. Who will advance Rick, stop, to stop, Osaka stop. in Japan Rick. and the final 14 in the world? Oh, it's a slugfest of gaming censoring. Sweat flying off the brow of both men. Rick, Peter stop. Graham, all aggression, charging across, oh. trying to overwhelm Sonny. Sonny's got to connect with some clean shots here, Hammer. Sonny's got, Sonny's got to pull out a really big round in this, the third and final, if he's to make an impression on the scorecards. The mind, this, this far into the fight, it's going Graham's way. Body shot from Sonny. Graham ties him up. Uncle Dave separates both men. Nice rib kick there off the right leg from Sonny. Sonny getting away the rib kick. 45 seconds down. Three minute round. Oh, jumping, turning right hand there from Jason okay, Sonny. Stop, stop, stop. Graham stop, ties stop. him up. Almost oh, drowns him in a gob of saliva. Oh, oh the rolling, rolling thunder! His, every one of his fights tonight, Peter Graham's oh. pulled one out. Hammer, rolling oh, thunder. Rolling thunder, okay, sorry. Stop, I'm waiting for the day when he's going to knock someone out with it. <laughs> Here will be headline news then. Imagine if he pulled out a rolling thunder knockout and on the same card, Gurkhan Oskar knocks someone out with a butterfly punch hammer. I'd be in my element. Oh, there Charges there, him across the ring and Sonny goes down! In the neutral corner, only a slip, says Uncle Dave. Look at the way Sonny jumps back up from there, the spirit that he's got in him. He Indeed. wants a fight. He is not letting go anything here. Peter's doing everything right, he's attacking greatly, but Sonny is not letting go and he's fighting with every spirit in his body. Peter Graham round oh, pass, spinning back. back fist caught him! He caught him on the chin, the spinning back fist from Peter Graham! Peter Graham is now wow. grabbing this fight well and truly by the Sonny throat. Graham nicely with a spinning back fist. Oh, oh the front kick push sends him down. Peter oh, Graham oh, is oh, owning oh, Jason Sonny on the Crazy John's logo. He went down. Big right hand right from hand. Peter Graham. He's all over him like a cheap neck. suit. Graham is Step really back. starting Step to consolidate now. Oh, uh, looks like it's going to be Graham heading over to, uh, to Japan. Graham. Get box as the, as the seconds tick down Graham. in the final. Final into the final here. 50 seconds, Hammer Moore should get into the head there from Peter Graham. Can Jason Sonny pull a Kiwi out of the hat? Right. Peter That's Graham. Right. Again, Graham waiting in big right hand. Ooh. Sonny forced to cover up the high knee there from the Gain. Gain agonisingly close. He is all over him like a fat kid on a cupcake here in the third round. Another front kick from Graham, a wild right hand from Sonny. Graham trying to launch the good night Irene knee to the head. Tarek, how do you see it? Into the final 20 seconds now. Oh, Sonny back fist to the wobble I love both guys, I can't say nothing. 
He's the wobbled back. in with a spinning back oh. fist as Peter Graham. Sonny comes forward, he's all hard. He's stepping up again for a spinning tactic. Peter Graham, nice linear to attacking motion. No, 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 it is. Peter has fought a great fight. Jason Sonny has fought a very great fight. Both guys deserve big credit. Good luck to both guys. I'm, I'm going to go up there. Thank you, Tarek Solik, and another sensational promotion. The super promoter, Tarek Solik, and Hammer to a dare preempt this that the K1 Oceania Melbourne champion will be from Australia this year, and it will be Peter Graham. Well, Peter Graham, after a long campaign, many, many big battles in centering. I'd say he's finally done it. Peter Graham has been triumphant, and he will be uh, heading over to the land of the rising sun, over to Japan, to represent Australia in the K1, and a well-deserved and very tough battle that Peter Graham had to endure here tonight. He did it the hard way, but he's done it, and he's done it well, Peter Graham. If he's done it here tonight in such a, a very solid performing way, I'm sure he can do it when he heads over to Japan as well. And Peter Graham, uh, for my money, and on my scorecards as well, which is too technical, nice front kick sent Sadi down to the, to the canvas there. He put it all together, that man on screen now, Peter Graham, did a wonderful job in centre ring. And uh, as I said, my, for my scorecard, it's the Chief, Peter Graham, that will take out the big one here tonight. And uh, we wish him well. But Jason Sadi, the psycho from New Zealand, put up a very brave effort indeed. And as we said at the opener, it was all going to come down to three warriors here tonight, in my opinion. And Sadi and Graham were two of the three that were named. And uh, as it was likely done, they've come through and they're the ones that are now standing waiting for the decision. Let's go across to the King, Billy Fisher. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fight between two of the toughest guys you're going to see for a long, long time. A unanimous points decision we have. Judge Malcolm Bulner has awarded it 30 to 28. Judge Bryce Birdwhistle has awarded it 30 to 28. Judge Mark Corey has awarded it 30 to 27. The winner, and on his way to Japan, in Osaka, to fight in the top 14 in the world, from the red corner, Peter Graham! I've got so many streamers on my head, I think I've got hair again. <laughs> he has done it. An elated Peter Graham. He did it in style. Josip Rodrizic, Mitch Orihalo and Jason Sonny are the three men he defeated here tonight. And he is on his way to Osaka. Well, Peter Graham has, to, has a blown up polystyrene cup rain down on us with the streamers. It is Peter Graham. But uh, we'll head overseas to represent Australia in the Oceania region. And he did it in style, Peter Graham, tonight. He has come of age as a K1 fighter, that's for sure.